Hey everybody, Jep here, and I asked the Siege community two things. One, what is your most favorite thing about Rainbow Six Siege? And then the other being, what is your least favorite thing about Rainbow Six Siege? And uh, here are the results. I looked through every single comment and chose some of my favorites to make a video on here today. There were very common themes I found while reading through all of them. Some of them loving Rainbow Six Siege, some of them hating on the game, and then others just being funny. But one thing is for sure, people are very passionate about Siege. Whether they hate the game, love the game, they want to see it succeed. So let's get right into the comments, everybody. Oh yeah, and one more thing. I know that it's not Christmas, but I'm wearing my one of my favorite shirts and I just decided to wear it for the video because I do have to do laundry. But yeah, pay no attention to it. So the first comment I'm gonna read today is from Alexander Lawless and he says, my favorite part of Siege is how it feels a little more realistic than other FPS games. My least favorite thing is that the game is too competitive. I love being competitive, but the game and the people who play it are largely centered on just being competitive. Siege has lost the people who just want to have fun, mess around, do stupid strats, and Ubisoft refuses to add any new permanent game modes where you can do that. And that's going to be a pretty common theme throughout some of the comments we'll see today over the video is that Siege is just very, very competitive. And when you have a very competitive game and all the casual players who kind of just want to have fun kind of left the game, it makes it so that even casual is ridiculously sweaty. And you will see that throughout the video. Next comment is from Phantom Sight 45. And he says, I love how the operators are drawn from all over the world. It isn't just a game where you shoot people. It actually has a story of recruiting the best to the best to fight against terrorists, which is what Ubisoft should have kept up. My least favorite thing is the people who think they know better and try to backseat game when you just want to play or, or you know what you're doing, but they're screaming at you and you don't hear the Jaeger coming up behind you since you can't hear yourself think. And that's also a common thing is toxicity. Uh, teammates who backseat game and, you know, tell you how to play, even though you know how to play, can also be very frustrating. And when they're just shouting and you're trying to clutch up, that can suck. Next up is Quick Tux, and he says, Favorites, the lore slash story behind the game. My main being IQ and Kavera. Least favorite things, the sweatiness of the games I get put into, even in casual. Like I swear, the amount of times I get killed by people who crouch spam, lean spam, and drop shot is just crazy. Again, this is back on the same topic of pretty much all the casual players who kind of just want to mess around and have fun have moved on to different games and uh, so you're left with the ultra competitive sweaty people who even in casual are ridiculously sweaty and it makes casual like ranked which is really not fun so this is why ubisoft needs to add a permanent party playlist so that you can just have fun playing siege instead of just having to sweat all the time okay moving on next comment is from rico or r-i-c-c -C, i'm sorry and he says, my favorite thing about Siege is probably the destruction and the interactions with the environment. No game does destruction like Siege. My least favorite thing about Siege is the insane recoil nerfs recently. I just want to be able to use the M762 again. So two things I want to say about this comment is yes, the destruction is absolutely insane for Siege, which also leads to a lot of the, you know, sound issues and bugs is the destruction of the game. It's just very hard to get around that. And then also, yes, the insane recoil nerfs recently have been... Oh, very annoying. And we'll see a couple of comments throughout the video also going over that. So I want to save my thoughts for more of those comments. Moving on, Antonio18 says, my favorite thing is how much variety the game can bring with the destruction, team composition, and uniqueness of all the operators. The one thing I dislike is toxicity. It makes the game unplayable. And it just ruins the fun Siege brings. Other than that, the map variety is not that big since they're focusing on reworks now other than making new maps, but at least they confirmed they're working on new ones. Yes, the game has become very stale with the lack of maps literally since Outback two freaking two and a half years ago now is when we got a new map. So the game can be very, very stale from that. Moving on, we have Ellie Survivor and she says, favorite things about the lore. I am really fond of the lore and effort put into the cultural research and the making of each character. Several times he just shown us what good writing and the part of a character creation is supposed to look like. Least favorite thing about the lore. The overall lore right now is heading the direction where one's good stories go to die. And I really hope that they get back on track to the story's original theme of fighting against enemies, not each other. And you can pause the video to read the rest if you want. But yeah, another thing too is it's going to be a little biased because I'm primarily a Rainbow Six Siege lore channel. So you'll see a lot of the comments uh, start off with, I love the lore. And then some of them go, the lore has changed into many different 
well not tom clancy related storylines and that's a common theme with people some people really like the lore but then also the writing has moved from a you know operators picked from the best of the best to combat terrorists to more of them kind of just fighting themselves which is something we'll get into later moving on jonathan ong says favorite lore and gameplay mechanics and then he goes on to say not favorite ubisoft nerfing ops and guns and for the sake of pick rates the balance graph and not because said op gun is genuinely overpowered and that couldn't be more true but i swear those pick and win rate graphs are a double-edged sword and it's really cool to look to see who's doing well and you know who's picked a lot but then also sucks because that's what primarily ubisoft uses to nerf or buff certain operators and most of the time they just nerf them and how do they nerf them most of the time by giving them recoil nerfs and there's always going to be that one operator that is going to outperform others because of their uh, fragging ability so if you nerf one operator with recoil you're, the other operator that's going to be right up in line is just going to overtake it and it's going to be a never ending cycle of nerf of nerf of nerf of just recoil nerfs how about we buff the bad operators instead of nerfing the good operators huh that sounds like fun <laughs> moving on whoever says favorite thing about siege frost okay please favorite thing about siege anything that isn't frost i wonder if this guy likes frost probably not moving on ct says my favorite thing about the game is how fun it is with the squad this game is has more than team communication than any other that i know of and when it all comes together it's just really fun my least favorite thing is how ubisoft nerfs ops they've begun taking the fun out of the game by nerfing ops like sophia yana and sledge hey we were just talking about nerfing ops right how about we buff the bad ones that sounds like fun but then also yes the amount of communication strategy that goes into a round and a game of siege is quite literally unlike any other game you think about other strategic games like you know overwatch you know valorant csgo and literally like siege requires more communication and teamwork than i think any other game i mean are there any in the comments that you can think of of games that require more you know and at a high level of play more strategic communication let me know uh moving on wreck of the platypus awesome name says favorite the lore of the game the different operators from different backgrounds least favorite thing cheating and the toxic community but that is in every game so well yes yeah, so cheating and toxicity can be in almost every game but the reason why it's so prevalent and annoying in rainbow six siege is because again the topic of siege is it's a very competitive game and anything that destroys the competitive integrity of that game is just going to be magnified by that much uh you know in call of duty cheating is you know it's a it's a arcade you know casual game in siege it's competitive so cheaters and toxicity is that much more annoying when it happens and it just so happens to be very prevalent in siege because there's a lot of ways to be toxic in siege there is a ton of ways so moving on we got s nation z game saying my favorite thing is the russians fuse the lord capcan glass my least favorite thing is russians fuse the lord capcan glass so i don't know what to make about this comment <laughs> do you want the spetsnaz people removed or do you want the spetsnaz operators to stay in the game i don't know what to think moving on oh big comment coming from oi it's phantom and he says love siege's unique map destruction elements but hate modern day siege Rainbow Six Siege used to be a tactical and had a fairly realistic aspect as a Tom Clancy and R6 title should, but it slowly has become more of an esports shooter that favors gun skill over planned tactical pushes. I remember I see many different games plans and strategies be developed with many different ways to attack or defend sites. But now with all the changes and new operators, it feels like that there's only a few proper ways to play the game. Uh, in short, I missed when Rainbow Six Siege was an actual Tom Clancy game. I had thousands of hours on the game and my friends and always had fun. But I feel Ubisoft has slowly ruined it for me with all the changes in operator abilities. And the upcoming R6 extraction annoys me even more by making a Tom Clancy title involving alien monsters. So yes, two things. Uh, a lot of people, which is a common theme and I've read throughout the community and Reddit and forums and stuff, is that... Uh, everyone always says tom clancy rolling in his grave whenever they see a negative thing about siege and well i mean it could be true i mean the game is straying farther and farther from a tip, uh, typical tom clancy title more and more and then another thing too is yes the game can feel very stale when you have like pretty much one way to push a site every single time and you know you gotta rinse and repeat each time so it could be very stale with that as well moving on rookie jr says my favorite part it's uninstalled for my computer 
Oh, <laughs> my least favorite part. I will probably install in the future. Well, okay. Well, that's good. <laughs> so what do you want? Do you want it? Do you want it installed or do you not, do you not want to install it? I thought that was pretty funny. Moving on. CO2 Sanity says, I love the community because some of the people I have met are such amazing and wonderful people. I hate the community because so many people are toxic ass tryhards. Yeah. I mean, I met some of my favorite people I ever met through Siege. And then also I met some of the worst people I could possibly imagine through Siege. So yeah, I, I mean, that's a very real comment. Moving on, uh, the teddy bear says, favorite thing, the Chanka Elite. Awesome, I love the Chanka Elite. Least favorite thing, barcode, <laughs> yes. So Chanka Elite, God tier, literally God tier. Uh, yes, with barcodes, typically mean you're going up against a cheater or they're very sus or they have, you know, a Smurf account and that could really suck too. So I understand that. Moving on, we got a big comment coming from Lucas Poser saying the best thing is the people you get to know while playing. I get to know people from all around the world due to the game and it kind of bonds on a whole different layer when you make strats together and kind of rely on your mates having your back. But the thing I love the most about it also is the thing I hate the most. You literally can't play the game alone. If you are not at least playing with one teammate on a squad, it's unbearable. The community is so effing toxic. You carry their nine through 16 year old ass the entire game give call outs and everything while they do nothing and play like they're brain dead. And when you lose the deciding 1v1 in the last round, you get to hear that your mom's a blank. Yeah, you all heard it or something similar. I'm sure. I'm glad I made enough friends along the way and meet new people every day and when playing with them, but playing alone is impossible. So yes, yeah, solo queuing is not impossible, but really, really hard. I mean, you kind of, it's a, it's a roll of the dice. What kind of teammates are you going to get? You're getting a toxic uh, brain dead teammates or you're going to get active teammates who care about the game and care about winning. And it's kind of a roll of the dice. And then also, again, going back on the topic of Siege has a toxic but sometimes fantastic community and meeting some really, really good people through Siege is also really, really fun. And uh, well, it feels good. Moving on, we got Weaklings saying he loves spawn peeking. And then he said his least favorite thing about Siege is getting spawn peeked. <laughs> Don't you just love it when karma instantly hits you in the back? You spawn peek someone and then that person when they're on the defending side spawn peeks you. Do you just love to see it? <laughs> Moving on, Selena Kyle says, uh, favorite thing. I love the ops. Least favorite thing. I don't love map bans. It's garbage and it makes the game stale. So yes, the operators and the lords behind them. When you can draw emotions with the operators that you choose from and pick a main, the game could be really, really fun. So again, map bans is a double edged sword. Yes, especially when you're attacking and you can straight up ban really defender sided maps like theme park and skyscraper and not, not so much skyscraper, but like bank can be pretty defender sided. But then what that does is it man, does it make you play like the same five or six maps over again? It was funny. I was playing Siege with my friends the other day and we literally played Oregon three times in a row three times in a row we played oregon granted we won them all because we're freaking gods but still we won we played oregon three times in a row and that can lead to a lot of the staleness we had a lot of comments saying how not a lot of things have been going on in siege lately like you know content wise um the game's running stale the game's become boring i removed a lot of those and saved it for the very end because honestly it's true <laughs> The content coming through Siege has two things. It hasn't been that great. And then no, number one, it hasn't been new, fresh, rewarding, lasting content. So, um, you know, no new maps, one new operator, really no new weapons. So it can be very stale. And especially when you play the same maps over and over again, and the game is just ultra competitive, like because all the casual players have gone. Yeah, I get it. I totally get it, guys. But yeah, so what do you guys think about Siege? What is your favorite and least favorite things about the game? Uh, let me know in the comments below. Do you want to see more videos like this where I kind of, you know, pull comments from you guys and we just have a discussion video like this with some chill background gameplay in the background? What do you all think? Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to notifications if you're new. Now, with all that being said, Jippy! Yeah.